Hello world, it is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. And I love, <coughs> excuse me, I love the Midwest <coughs> in the winter because it's, again, just a bright, beautiful, sunshiny morning. Blue skies, bright sunshine, the snow making it even all the more the brighter. And yet it was 12 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. So it's really cold out there. And uh, I guess we're in for about a week of really cold weather, so be careful uh, if you go outside make sure you bundle up keep skin exposure to a minimum but definitely enjoy that sunshine today i'm going to um, read once again from the devotional book rise up spirituality for resistance written by the ucc still speaking writers and the devotion i will be reading today is hope is a verb and i have a feeling i may have read this uh, a while ago, so I apologize if I did. I forgot to write down. Usually I make a notation in the book on the date that I use it, but it's a good one. And it's Hope is a Verb, written by Elsa Cook. And Elsa bases the devotion upon Luke chapter 20, verse 36. Indeed, they cannot die anymore because they are like angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. And Elsa writes, When I was growing up in eastern North Carolina, the Reverend William Barber says, I used to love all my grandma, grandmama's kitchen, and I used to love to sit in my grandmama's kitchen and listen to her sing as she made dinner. Whenever she was done cooking, she'd give me a plate to eat. Then she and some of the other sisters from the church would make up some to-go to plates, and with their aprons still on, they'd head out the door to visit the sick and shut-ins. We going to hope somebody, Grandmama would say. He loved his Grandmama, but he was convinced she had really bad grammar. He knew well that hope isn't a verb. He's right. It isn't a verb until you or I need it to be. The rules of grammar must change because a child of the res resurrection needs it to change. That's what the Sadducees asked Jesus. They've convinced themselves that they know everything there is to know about hope. Nothing is unexpected, everything is clear, but that's not so for the work of justice and love. We don't do this work because we're convinced we will win. We struggle for justice because there isn't enough hope and everybody needs it. Jesus sides not with the good reverend, but with grandmama. Hope is a verb, he says, that pulls you up from the depths of despair, shakes you from your pain, and points towards life. It's not just an idea but it's what pushes you out the door to say that this isn't the end. This isn't all there is, and there is justice to be done. Head out the door and go hope on somebody today. And Elsa's prayer. God, make me one of your angels today. Help me to hope on somebody. Amen. Oh, there's a lot in this devotion as there is and just in all of them and um, I really think it hits home on what living a resurrection life is like is hoping on people is um, bringing the presence of God to them through ourselves and really bringing God's presence to ourself through the way we bring it to other people as well by hoping on people um, I think this is especially important during this time of the pandemic um, when so many people have, have um, become isolated and uh, are not as able to get out and, and, and be with other people. So there's probably a lot of people despairing. Although I've met an awful lot of people when I call them and talk to them or happen to see them in the store or on a Zoom meeting, um, People are staying pretty positive and upbeat, maybe because somebody hoped on them. So think about that today. If there's someone that you know who um, you haven't spoken with in a while, maybe give them a call or write them a handwritten letter. I mean, that makes a huge impact because we so seldom do that anymore. We tend to rely on electronic communication so much, but take the time to write a handwritten letter and send it to someone. Yeah, the post office is having some issues, but it'll get there eventually. Um, but it's a way of, of being present for people, and that's the way people find hope. We find it in each other. 
I hope you have a good day. I hope you can enjoy some of this sunshine. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.